Hello and welcome to the next chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help familiarize you and improve your skills in Corel Paint Shop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate. My name is Robert Corel. In today's short lesson I'm going to show you how to blend two photos together. I've selected two photos, one of which is a motorcycle stunt rider at a monster truck rally and you can see him jumping over and performing a pretty amazing stunt there as he's going to go down to the ramp. Then my son Ben watching him in amazement. Great photos to blend together. First select the photo you want to insert into the other photo, in this case Ben, and select it. Use selection, select all, and then copy. When that's done, paste it as a new layer in the other image. Now close the other photo out without saving. This becomes an operation if you'll select the pick tool of resizing and positioning this additional layer so that you can see what you want to see in the layer beneath it. Now you're, there is going to be some blending here but basically I want to make sure I can see Ben and the motorcycle rider fairly well. There's trial and error involved, but basically I'll leave it right about here. Now I'm going to position him so it looks like he's looking right at the guy. So I want to look at this line of sight right here. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, to blend, create a mask. Choose Layers, New Mask Layer, Show All. You can use hide all too and do this in reverse, but I always use show all so that I can see what I'm doing. Now, a mask hides and reveals different parts of the image. White, as you can see here, reveals. Black hides. Come up to the foreground color and choose a gradient and make sure it's black and white. Click in the swatch and come to the gradient tab make sure to select black and white if it's not already not already loaded in. Now here's where you want to be careful where the gradient comes from and goes to and which side is black and white. White reveals so I want this right edge to be white. If this were inverted the left edge would be white and I would be hiding the wrong part of the photograph. So in this case left is black and that's going to be hidden and it's going to transition to white which is closer to Ben and that'll be shown up. Select OK. Now if I simply choose the Flood Fill tool and click in this mask layer, I'm going to basically hide most of him and I don't want to do that. I'm going to undo that, switch to the Selection tool, Rectangle Selection Type, Feather is probably not that important but because the gradient is going to take care of some things but if you want to add a feathering that's OK. Uh, and then select from the spot where I want it to be totally opaque out to the edge of the that layer that I want to blend. So this is the only spot that's going to be affected by the mask now when I click the flood fill tool with the gradient inside this area. There. Now when I select none you can see and zoom in here a little bit that I've got a nice smooth gradient from the motorcycle then you can barely see it and then it gets stronger and stronger all the way to Ben. Okay I hope you can see how really the sky is the limit on this. You can use all sorts of different photographs and settings and create a bunch of special incredible effects. By The, the central part is to use this mask layer here and a gradient to blend those two photos together. That's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.